How to apply for a medical card and GP visit card. Medical cards allow people to access a family doctor, prescribed medicines, community health services, dental services, hospital care and a range of other benefits at a reduced rate or free of charge. GP visit cards allow people to access a family doctor only, free of charge. To qualify for a medical card or GP visit card, you must be assessed initially on your financial situation as set out in the National Assessment Guidelines. We also ask you to supply information of any ongoing medical issues. If you don't qualify through the means test, this will allow us to consider your application on a discretionary basis for undue hardship related to your medical or social issues. Some people may also qualify under automatic entitlement. For more information on automatic entitlement and other questions, visit medicalcard.ie. This video will take you through the application form step by step and show you examples of the documents you need to supply that will help us process your application as quickly as possible. In part one of the form, we need your personal details. Remember to fill in your PPS number. You'll find it on your payslip or P60 form. If you're married or in a partnership, you'll need to fill in the details for your spouse or partner even if they're not living in Ireland. In part two, we need personal details for all your dependents. Next, you need to show us your family income so we can determine if you qualify for a medical card or GP visit card. If you get a social welfare payment, Send us post office receipts or a bank statement showing instances of these payments if your payment goes directly into your bank account. The bank statement must show your name and address. We cannot accept printouts from online banking. If you're getting illness or maternity benefit for less than 12 months, send us a letter from your employer stating if you're being paid or not. If you are being paid or are on a reduced payment, send us your most recent payslips. If you're working, send us copies of your most recent payslips. If you're retired and your income is from a private or occupational pension, send us your most recent pension payslips. If your job has ended within the last two years, please send in a copy of your most recent P45 in addition to your current income details. If you're self-employed, send us a copy of your most recent Notice of Assessment from the Revenue Commissioners. All of the pages must be supplied. If you're applying under EU regulations, send us a current ES1 form, which is issued by the relevant state's health authority. If you get a payment from any other state, send us a letter from the pension provider or copies of your most recent payslips. If you get a maintenance payment, send in the court order, maintenance agreement, or a letter from the person paying maintenance to you, confirming the amount and the frequency of payments. Remember, you need to include the relevant documents for your spouse or partner's income, even if they don't live in Ireland. If you're on an employment or an education scheme, send in a letter from the supervisor showing when you started, when you're going to finish, and copies of your most recent payslips. If you have savings, stocks or shares, the next section of the form is relevant to you. Send us the most recent statement of savings or proof of stocks and shares from each financial institution. And if you own additional property, the next section of the form is relevant to you. If you earn income from the property, send us a copy of the current tenancy agreement. 
If your property is not rented, send us a valuation of the property. If you earn income from land, send us details of the annual income. If the land is not rented, send us a valuation of the land. We need a recent mortgage account statement and recent certification from the provider confirming payment of mortgage protection and house insurance. This is so that we can take into account the expenses associated with owning this property. Part 4 of the form is where you provide us with information on your family expenses. Once we've calculated your income, we then take into account all your allowable outgoings or expenses. This could bring you under the income threshold. We take into account your expenses on rent or mortgage payments. If you're renting, send us a copy of your tenancy agreement, rent book or a letter from the council. We need a recent mortgage account statement and recent certification from the provider confirming payment of mortgage protection and life assurance. If you have house insurance, send us recent certification from the provider confirming the payment. We also take into account childcare costs if you're working. Send us a letter from your childcare provider detailing your weekly costs. If you travel to work on public transport, please send in proof of your weekly or yearly bus or rail tickets. If you use your own car, we need a copy of the vehicle registration certificate and details of the location of your employment. If you pay maintenance, send in a copy of the court order, the maintenance agreement or a letter from the person you make the payments to confirming the amount and the frequency of payment. If you live in a private nursing home, send us a copy of a recent invoice or a letter from the nursing home confirming payments. If you or any of your dependents have ongoing medical issues, you should include a letter or report from your GP or consultant. Please also supply copies of your medical expenses receipts. This information will allow us to consider your application on a discretionary basis if your income is in excess of the income threshold. Next, you should read and sign the declaration in part five. In parts 6 and 7, you must fill in contact details for you and your partner's doctors and ask them to sign and stamp the form for you. Checklist Have you completed all relevant parts of the form? Have you included all documents to show your income and expenses? Have you read and signed part 5? Has your doctor signed the form? Remember. We only need copies of your documents. Please don't send us original documents. So, now that you've filled in your form, post it to us at Client Registration Unit, PO Box 11745 Dublin 11. And if you have any questions, call us on Local 1890 252 919.